Welcome back everybody to Shooting Gallery New England. My name is Joe. Today we got a special video. This is probably our second optic review. As you saw in the opening there, we are going over the Vortex Strike Fire 2 Red Dot. So, I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm not that familiar with Red Dots. I do a lot of LPVO work. I like variable power scopes. Just something with me when I look down a rifle, I kinda wanna see what I'm shooting at. So, when we decided to build this We The People 2020 rifle. Look at that, and it is clear. You safety Nazis out there, it is all set. But, this is the rifle. This is our 16 inch fixed mag AR-15, built off a Dark Storm Industries. Let's see if you can get that, look at that. Dark Storm Industries fixed mag receiver. Please check out Dark Storm Industries, great company. They make great stuff. They try and make sure that people can, in, these band states are able to have AR-15s. So, and I got that nice, oh yeah, look at that. Blinding everybody, look at that nice Enforce weapon light. So, so far with shooting this, I got probably about 150 rounds through this gun. Um, I really like it. Stays on target, but let's go over some of the specs. I'm not gonna get scientific about it. There's no reason to see the red dot. There's been a ton of videos on this optic on it. But the reason why I liked it was it was affordable. It comes from a reputable comp uh, company. I'm not editing that out. <laughs> so it comes from a reputable company made in the USA. Uh, Vortex, they're, they're tried and true. Everyone uses them. I've had a lot of experiences with the Diamondbacks. Uh, if you, I've installed a lot of them at work. They're very easy to sight in. The Strike Eagles, I'm a big fan of. I think I might pick up a Strike Eagle for my SU-16, and I'd like to pick up a couple others. They do pistols, pistol lights, like the Razors, and the Razor H, uh, not the Razor HD, that's a LPVO, like a huge, expensive optic, but uh, I think it's the Viper. Yeah, the Viper is the little RMR that's cut for like pistols and stuff like that. But, so, the Strike Fire 2, it's a 30 millimeter tube, takes, uh, let's see what we got from it, it takes a CR, a CR2 battery. Good thing what's included with this, this is going for about $200, which is not that bad for an entry level red dot to kind of get to the range. I don't know if it would be life and liberty. I'm not a uh, law enforcement, I have no military experience, but for me going to the range and practicing with my AR-15, it's pretty much dead on. Uh, so, box set, I'm reading off the box here. The good thing is you get all the specs off the back of the box, okay? So it takes a CR2 battery. Uh, it is, what is it, rated for 80,000 hours of battery life. I don't know what that means, but 80,000 hours seems a crap ton of hours to me. Uh, has unlimited eye relief. You don't have like parallax when you're trying to sight it in, which I had no issues with. It sighted in for about 100 yards. Um, it is 5, 0.6 inches in length, 7.2 ounces. Like I said, it's a 30 millimeter lens. Uh, and it does come with a, can and this one does come with a cantilever mount. It's a lower third co-witness, so you can, if I were to have iron sights on the We The People 2020 build, we would be able to have co-witnessing availability, but it's 2021, guys. Who uses, uh, you know, iron sights anymore? It's red dot or LPVO or nothing. I don't care. Everyone, no one, uh, people who are able to sight in stuff with their iron sights or if guns come with iron sights, cool. I usually pop them right off because I'm just so used to seeing the dot. Tactically, that doesn't make sense because what if the dot goes down, then I'm kind of up shit's creek. But for me, I make sure that I always replace the batteries every six months if I don't use them all the time. So uh, it says it's nitrogen purge, gas, it has a gas purge and O-ring seal delivering waterproof, fog proof uh, performance. So. That's good, so if you're shooting in the rain, or if it's getting a little misty out, your optics isn't gonna get all, you know, gassed up. It's actually sealed. They're made high quality. There's two, it's a, uh, what is it? Two, it's two night vision compatible settings. 11 illumination settings, parallax for you, one magnification, compatible with 30 millimeter rings, and it is fully multi-coated. Anti-reflective lens coating increases light transmission for, for greater clarity. Guys, it's an optic. Let's check out some of the range review that we've seen. So, let's see how it shoots.
Some of the things you also can notice, guys, when you are working this Vortex Strike Fire. Now, I'm gonna try and get this as close as possible. Uh, you have your buttons right here, you have your positive and your negative, so you can either increase or decrease the size of the dot or the brightness of the dot. I will say these buttons are kind of difficult. I think if they break them in a little bit, they're gonna be a little bit easier to use. Your battery compartment's right here. You have windage and elevation adjustments. Shooting a red dot isn't that hard, but for new shooters, just be aware you know, lock yourself in. I always tell people, set your red dot in at like 25 yards. 25 yards and then move yourself out to 50. Get your elevation pretty much intact. Worry about your windage after. Get your elevation dead on center to the center line on a target. And then lock yourself out. That's how I did it. I sighted this in with like 55 grain ball. But I do like that you kind of have, you're not going to be bumping the illumination up or down where you can shut it off you press the plus button to turn it on obviously it's going to brighten up when you want to turn it off you just hit the plus button again for like five seconds and it does shut off but let's get back to some shooting let's see if this vortex is on point gotta love these ma loaders by mean arms God, I love this gun. This is the more maybe we do it build, but let's go down range and see how the Vortex is actually doing. All right, guys, so this is just offhand at like 50 yards. Uh, most of this is from me confirming zero, make sure the dot was on, but the Vortex Strike Fire 2 is a very reliable optic for the money. But let's get back up top. We're gonna kind of talk to you a little bit what we think about the gun. Obviously, we're just doing some range day stuff here, but stay tuned and see our final opinion. Okay. Now, guys, there is one thing I want to inform you. From what my research is, this also does have some flip-up flip up lens covers, which that's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, one thing I will say, I have heard that CR2 batteries aren't the best, so I haven't had any issue with this not turning on and off, so I haven't killed the battery yet. Took it out to a ra the range probably three or four times. Um, I do apologize, I haven't had a lot of content on this since we built the gun. It's just, I've been busy with work and working th two jobs uh, again, so it's just been kind of busy. But we're gonna get back to more work on the We The People 2020 build. The Vortex Strike Fire 2, now there's a couple of new generations as well. So now you have the Strike Fire 2 that has the, I believe it's the four MOA dot where you have the red and green compatibility. I noticed green dots, I'm able to acquire a lot easier than red dots. So if you're able to find that, about $100 more. So from the three to 350 range, depending on where you get it. If you find anything in this build that you want to actually pick up, I'm going to leave a link in the description that takes you to my Tumblr account. And I'll try and leave some pinned comments there. Plus there's going to be some affiliate links in the description. You don't have to feel obligated to use them, but if you want to pick up some stuff like this Vortex Strike Fire, check it out. It's going to be in the links below. But the only downside is, is the battery life from what I hear. I'm not a competitive shooter, really. I like to go to the range, I like to have fun, I like to practice, I like shooting AR-15s. It's affordable, that's a big one for me. I can't justify spending $800 on, say, like an EOTech. I've shot EOTechs. They're amazing optics, but the downside is, is $800, so say you have about $1,000 just into a build, that is, and that's when you're just getting stuff that you can afford, including your bulk hair group, your barrel, all that stuff. Even for AR-15s that are like, you know, PCC. So if you build like, if you say if you bought, great example, you buy a CMMG Banshee and a pistol or a rifle configuration. Those rifles are pretty expensive. Then if you want to get a high price scope or an optic, like a red dot or something like that, you're gonna be spending another $800. So now you're almost at two grand. Some nowadays money's kind of tight. So I wanted to take a chance with the strike fire so far. I do like it. I haven't had that much issue with it like losing zero. I haven't taken it off the rifle. It's kind of just lived on the rifle. So 
this is my kind of overview of the Vortex Strike Fire 2, guys. I hope you like this video. I'm not the best optic reviewer, but I wanted to at least get you guys the idea that you can get great optics for affordability price. This is a 4 MOA dot, as it says right on this handy dandy box that for some reason the light doesn't want to. There you go, look at that. I don't know. Guys, if you think this video sucked, or if you agree with me, if you had any experience with the Strike Fire 2, please let me know. I'd love to get that conversation going in the comments below. Please check us out on TikTok, Patreon, Instagram, Facebook. We are now streaming live the Shooting the Woods podcast every single week on Facebook and YouTube simultaneously now. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay shooting. I'll see you soon. Peace.